Hi everyone! Today we're going to study the hyperbola with center at the origin. The transverse axis is on x axis. First, let us define hyperbola. A hyperbola is the set of points such that the difference of the distances of the moving point from two fixed points is constant. The fixed points are called foci. The line passing through the foci is called transverse axis. The points of intersection of the hyperbola with the transverse axis are called the vertices. The center is the midpoint of the segment connecting the foci. The line passing through the center perpendicular to the transverse axis is called the conjugate axis. A chord of the hyperbola through either focus perpendicular to the transverse axis and terminated by the curve is called the latus rectum. Now let us see the figure of the hyperbola. This pair of graphs consists of the hyperbola. The center at origin, of course, the coordinates are 0, 0. The transverse axis is here and it lies on x axis. This is the conjugate axis. It lies on the y axis. The foci are here. This is the first focus denoted by F and the second focus denoted by F prime. The line segment connecting this foci is assigned to be 2C. So we can write the coordinates of the foci respectively. The coordinates are C0 and negative C0 respectively. Let us now plot the vertices. This is the first vertex denoted by V. This is the second vertex denoted by V prime. The line segment connecting the vertices is equal to 2A. So we can write the coordinates of the vertices as A0 and negative A0 respectively. Now the latus rectum. There are two latera recta. The length of each latus rectum denoted by LLR equals 2B square over A. So the endpoints of the first latus rectum have coordinates C, comma, B square over A and C, comma, negative B square over A respectively. While the endpoints of the second latus rectum are negative C, comma, B square over A and negative C, comma, negative B square over A respectively. Now the eccentricity denoted by E equals C over A. Now, the asymptote. The asymptote is a line 
which has the property that the distance from a point P on the curve to the line approaches zero as the distance of P from the origin increases without bounds. For hyperbola, there are two asymptotes. This is the first and this is the second. The equation of the first asymptote is y equals b over a times x, while the second asymptote has equation y equals negative b over a times x. This is now the standard equation of hyperbola, the center at origin, the transverse axis on x axis. This is x square over a square minus y square over b square all equal to 1. Take note that the x variable here is positive and the y variable is negative. So, the transverse axis lies on x axis. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.